What's up guys, Craig here, welcome back to Football Manager 2013, the story of the Blues. In this episode we will be playing Swindon and Berry, following our 2-2 draw with Doncaster and a 3-0 win over Scunthorpe. Now obviously, um, Swindon are top of the league, so it's second versus first, a re it should be a really epic game. Could be crucial in deciding what happens, you know, this season. Uh, just just a thing I have to say, in this episode I will be talking about how much real life Carlisle is actually really starting to frustrate me to hell. Seriously. Because, <sighs> we played Leighton Orient yesterday, okay. Now, if any Leighton Orient fans are watching, I say it well done, okay. You fully deserve to win the game. You really did. Because we were absolutely Dire, diabolical, awful, seriously, it was the worst performance I've actually seen from Carl this season. And this this was against a team, by the way, we lost 4-1. Okay, we lost 4-1. And that was against a team who, this season, in away games, had only scored five goals. Five goals that scored in all away games this season. Over the whole season, they've scored five away goals. And the, and then they then the, the, and then they came up here. Yes, we'll we'll praise Mark Gillespie because he's been doing very well. And then they came up here, and they they scored four goals in one half. The, it's just it's just unbelievable. I can't I can't remember exactly how many games that have been played so far this season, but over I don't know. Let's just say. Six or seven away games, maybe a bit more. They've scored five goals, and then in one half, forty-five minutes, they score four. How how bad do you have to be to make that happen? I mean, that is how bad we were. We were dire. There was no one putting in any effort except Brad Potts, uh, David Semington, and Matthew Robson. And the last two substitutes, no one in the st in the starting eleven looked looked like they were trying. Seriously, it was absolutely disgustingly bad. And I do fully appreciate the fact that. Um, by the way, can I just say there that that just said to me that I should comment on claims that Swindon are underachieving. Okay, let's, let, let, let's look at the league table. Yeah, first, they're underachieving. For God's sake, FM, come on. Yeah, but seriously, okay, I respect everything that Greg Abbott has done for Carlisle in the past. You know, he's gotten us to two Wembley finals. Two Wembley finals and a John Spain trophy. We've won one. We, we, we've gone closer and closer to the playoffs every season. But... Now we're eighteenth in the league and just just under halfway through the season I think, maybe. It, and it really is shocking. He really does seem to have lost the plot. I mean we we loaned I think it was Sean McGinty from Man United. And he and he's a big lad, you know, he he really is tall, he looks like a looked like a solid defender. And he comes from one of the best teams in England. So what do we do? We leave him on the bench every game, and we're playing defenders in a defence who have conceded the joint highest amount of goals in the Premier League, Championship, League One, and League Two combined. How, how on earth can you actually leave that, that defence as it is when you have a guy from Manchester United sitting on the bench? It just does not make any sense. But yeah, it really is getting depressing. I, I just seriously hope it sorts out soon because we have not won a game in four le in four league games, and three of those have been defeats. It's ju it's just not on, you know. And I think mo most of Carl's fan base has just given up hope because there's no way we're we're making the playoffs now this season. We're just actually playing that bad. But. Well, anyway, enough about that. We're going to be playing Swindon now. Second versus first. It will be a, a brilliant game. Let me just check those two formations. 
Okay, that's right. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, can I just say, I, I'm quite impressed because Liam Noble has scored five goals this season. He's, he's the league's top scorer. And he's actually uh, yeah, he's the league's top scorer and he's a central midfielder. That's, that's, that's quite mad, to be honest. But yeah, we will just do this again. Sorry, just losing focus a bit there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I am. I am quite happy with that. <laughs> Sorry about that little inconvenience, guys. <laughs> now I, I should retract my earlier statements. I'm not happy with that because Collins in goal. Like Gillespie needs to play. Now I'm happy with that team. Got Miller leading the leading the charge at the top of the spearhead, you could say. Let's have a look at Swindon's team. Where's Fodderingham? I think it's Federico Bissoni, Dan Daniel Situ, Daniel Ward, maybe. Like, as I said, I don't really know many the many of the players' first names. Nielsen, Gary Roberts, John Bostock, Tommy Miller, I think, Matt Ritchie. Ad Andy Williams and Adam Rooney. It's a good team, you know. Adam Rooney's a hell of a striker. The the defense looks really good, and Matt Ritchie's a, a a great, great, great winger as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough game, and it is. It's obviously always hard to play against Swindon. Carlisle found found that out in real life, <laughs> but yeah, oh, it's Andrew Williams. That's uh, that's Andy. Oh, uh, that's just, uh, that, that's right, actually, isn't it? Yeah, just 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 a shorter name. Okay. Uh, Tim Woodkey throwing Liam Noble on the wing. Can I get it in? Spear can't get to it. Barrett gets it back out to Noble. Heads it to Thurwell. Woodkey, Barrett, Noble, Potts, Barrett just passing the belt. Can we can we get into the box? Doesn't look like it. We're being pushed back. Potts, Noble. Barrett, there will great passing football. Woodkey, what a save from Fodderingham. To be fair to him, I have to say I'm real. I'm really happy with how wing backs play in this game because, uh oh, oh, okay, it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, just look at that. I'm really happy with how wing backs play because they get forward so quickly and you know so efficiently. And they make themselves open for like through balls into the box and such, and, and they and they just get back so quickly as well. You know, I mean, I've played single player games. I had one with Sporting John, and uh, the wing backs in that game that they actually score goals for me. It's insane. Oh, so one of our players is injured, and Williams has thrown goal. Great save from Gillespie, who is injured. Oh, damn it, Brad Potts is injured. That's a, that that's a bit of a blow, because he is a very good player. But look, we do have a. Uh, another good player in Chris Chandler in, on the bench so hopefully he can plug up that gap Chandler's on for Brad Potts Gillespie takes that easily just get it out to the centre, oh no he smacks it up, Lee Miller gets up well as usual Thurwell, Barrett, Chandler, Noble, what a ball to Lee Miller and Fodring has made another brilliant save God, the keepers are doing very well in this game. Fodderingham has made two great saves. Gillespie has made one. And for some reason, Noble's given up on that chase for the ball, which means Swindon now have the ball. Thurwell, Woodkey just plays the ball down the line. It's actually a very good ball to James Barrett. Can he? Oh, no, he's been tackled, but we do have a corner. Barrett to take. Clinton Morrison scored for Colchester. <laughs> uh, it's out. Woodkey, Chandler. Get it in, get it infield to Noble, back to Chandler, Spear, Barrett. Is anything gonna happen? Noble, thank you. Might be offside. Is is damn. Oh well. Been a been a good half so far. Entertaining anyway. Okay, Carlo have been the be better side. Yeah, I suppose we have. J just about anyway. Uh, it's been a bit of an average performance, I have to say, but. Uh, we're not doing that bad. I think I think I'll put Dan Livesey on for Michael Nelson. He's not having the best of games. Other than that, I think we'll just leave things as they are. 
Williams is on the ball. Besson, Bostock, Miller, Rooney. What a save from Gillespie again. Wow. The keepers are looking unbeatable. Gillespie's fist the ball away. <laughs> Sorry. Ward, Miller, Tommy Miller. Nelson, Gary Roberts. Uh, don't freaking concede. Bostock, Besson, Williams, Ritchie. Another great save from Gillespie. Nelson. Or could be, could be Nielsen, actually. Bostock has hit it wide. Can Carla weather the storm? Well, I hope so, because to be honest, it is true. We are under a lot of pressure right now. Does not look like we can cope. Although it is nil nil, so that is good. I would definitely take a draw against a team that's top of the league. And of course, with the way that we are playing, um, I don't have to. I don't know. Nah, I'll leave it till a little bit later on. I'm 80th minute. I think I'll make a substitution. Still nothing happening. 80 minutes. Okay, I'll make. I'll make sub now. Uh, just can't really say anything. That's, I just still can't really say anything that I don't want to do, really. Um, I put Paddy Madden on for Lee Miller because it's always good to have a little bit of pace up front. Fodderingham smashes up the field. Well up there. Miller flicks it onto Noble. He's thrown goal. Oh, he's been tackled by Nielsen. Oh, very good tackle by Nielsen there. I was getting excited. Well up again by Danny Livesey. McCormack. Nielsen smashes it up. Rooney's away. Oh, God, he gets it to Matt Ritchie. It's going to be a goal. Oh, my God, he's missed. <sighs> I thought I was certain we were going to go 1-0 down there. That was really nerve-wracking. Gillespie smashes up the field. Noble gets it. Chandler. Oh, what a poor ball from Chris Chandler. But Edwards is intercepted. But Swindon still have the ball. Adam Rooney, Williams, Navarro, Bessone, Matt Ritchie. Well in Paul Thurwell. Spear gets it to Noble. It plays in Madden. Paddy Madden. Oh, it's another great save from West Rotheringham. <laughs> the keepers just will not be beaten today, I don't think. Barrett gets the ball in. <gasps> another great save from Fodderingham. Wow. Fodderingham is on fire today, fair play to him. Barrett. It's another corner. Now Barrett's going to have to go to the other side of the field. And <laughs> probably get, be getting tired. Okay. Woodkey. Chandler. Woodkey. Barrett. Goal! What a strike from James Barrett. Oh, yes. Oh my god, that is brilliant. Tim Woodkey plays the ball in field to James Barrett and he hits it first time, smashes it into the bottom left corner. Fodring, I think got a touch on it. Unlucky Fodringham, you cannot you cannot blame yourself for that goal. You've been insane so far. And the referee has blown for full time. I I don't think we did deserve to win that match, but still a win is a win and what a win it was against a team that was top, that were top of the league. But we have taken that place for ourselves and we are two points clear and we're also five points clear of Coventry in third place. And Wes Frodingham got man of the match. Fair play to him. He was brilliant. He was he, he did turn in a brilliant performance. But Mark Gillespie did also have a fantastic game. It was a game for the keepers today. But James Barrett has obviously made the difference with a fantastic strike from about 25 yards. So, yeah. All in all, a good result. And look at that. Eight goal, only, oh, we've only conceded eight goals in 12 games. Now that is just not Carlisle. <laughs> in 12 games, in real life, Carlisle will probably concede about 50. <laughs> uh, Brad Potts. Oh, 45 weeks with a fractured arm. Oh well. It, it, it is good that he is young. Okay, it, it means that he does tend to recover quicker. So, so yeah, I mean, obviously, it's it's better in a way to have those injuries have happen to a slightly younger player because if they're older, then then they don't really recover as well. But we are. 
we are now top of the league which is superb nothing happening there sorry uh, 6 days against Berry, who are 11th which so that means they're obviously doing a lot better than they are in real life Mike Edwards yep he has been doing very well he's held down a place in the team anyway <laughs> that said De Canio is, is really a it really is uh, it really is an interesting character you know De Canio because it, it, it really is so hard to read sometimes and you know is is you know his actions toward his players sometimes really do confuse me because if you remember in League Two, when Swindon were in League Two, he um, Swindon had signed Leon Clark, and in, like the second game that Clark played for Swindon, him and De Canio got in a massive scrap, and he ended up se being sent out on loan to Chesterfield, who were in League One at the time, which is quite funny, and and he did well for Chesterfield, you know. And this this season, Clark has done well for Scunthorpe. So you know, perhaps De Canio, I don't know, maybe 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 made a bad decision. But yeah, it it is a bit odd the way he has does act towards his players. I mean, Fod, uh, you know, West Fodringham, who put obviously just put a uh, great uh, put in great uh, put in a great performance against us just then. He uh, against Preston, he made a mistake for one goal. And then conceded another goal, which wasn't, which was not his fault at all. But then they decided, that, well, De Canio decided to take him off. I mean, that that really just confused me because c c can you imagine if every manager just j just actually took the keeper off after making one mistake? Yeah. <laughs> You you get a serious a serious amount of well pissed off keepers really. Um, but yeah. And when when Fodderingham was substituted, he went absolutely mental. You know, he stormed off the field on the way off. He he lashed out at a water bottle with a kick. <laughs> So I mean I can understand this frustration because when you're a keeper and you get subbed off, you have to think you're doing something wrong. I mean, I, and I I don't I don't know if Fodringham was annoyed with De Canio, or he was annoyed with himself, or he was annoyed with the team's performance. I don't know. But Preston went on to concede. Sorry, Swindon went on to concede. I, th I think they did concede another two goals, which just begs. Which just begs the question, why bother to take him off? I mean, you can see two goals with the other keeper as well, so what the hell is the point? But yeah, it was an interesting situation, that. But, yeah, De Canio is obviously a very good manager, you know. I, I mean, Swindon were under a transfer embargo, and he's done extremely well to get them where they are this season. His character is just a bit odd sometimes. And and actually look at actually looking at him on the touchline sometimes is hilarious because he, he makes so many hand signals. <laughs> it's quite funny. But we are going to take on eleventh place Barry in this game. Um, no, for God's sake, Gillespie standing goal. Um, I think Chandler can play at left wing back for a, a game. Other than that, I am happy with that team. Yep. Okay. John Paul McGovern is playing as attacking midfielder for this game, and Liam Nobles just moved back to the central midfielder position to accompany James Barrett and Paul Thurwell. Let's look at Berry's team Trevor Carson, Joe Scars, uh, Stephen Schumacher, Peter, I think it's Peter Sweeney, could be Paul Sweeney, I Ian Henderson. I think 
And David Healy. Wow, David Healy. God. Yeah, we, we should be favourites, but again, you, c you can never take games lightly. Especially not like this, you know. Especially not in League One. Where er where anyone can be anyone, really. And the anyway, that's, that's the usual pointless highlight from FM. Mikel Nelson appears to having serious problems blending into the squad. That's a bit odd. Okay. Miller wins the header. Very well done. Get it to McGovern. Barry gets it to McGovern. Noble. Great ball. Miller. 1-0. In the 10th minute of the game. What a great through ball that was from Liam Noble. How, how he spotted that run. Look at this. Noble. What a ball that is. It, it just, a, just a perfectly weighted through ball. Unbelievable from Carlisle there. And Liam Noble's looking very nervous. Oh no, he's he's composed now. Our forwards are being outnumbered by Barry's defensive line. I don't really I don't really care to be honest. Miller Miller just wins everything anyway. Oh Sweeney. Uh God, that's the oh no, Noble Noble's got a chance to break away. What can he do? Okay, he's kept the ball. It's fine. There's no no rush. Barrett. Nelson, Thurwell is away. No one, no one defending him. Great save from Trevor Carson. Should have, should have finished it. Maybe could have squared it to another player, but still, good attack. Miller, oh, thought he was going to shoot, but gets it out to Barrett. Gets it back to Thurwell. Thurwell, Noble, McGovern, Thurwell. Good clearance from Lockwood. Barrett, Woodkey. Oh, it's over. Damn. Good, good little attack there. Good little spell of dominance. Miller again, just winning those balls in the air. McGovern's away, and he's missed. Ah, oh, damn it! In those situations, you really do need a clinical finisher, and McGovern really isn't the most clinical of finishers. But yeah, so for, we have done well so far. We have been the better side, definitely. Chandler taking the ball a long way. McGovern, Chandler. Woodkey gets it. God, that was a great ball through, but Noble's done well to keep that one in, but he's been tackled by Jones. David Healy on the ball now. <sighs> An another decent chance for us there. But we, we we do indeed look good value for our lead. Uh, Tim Woodkey's having a bit of a poor game, if you look at that there. But at the same time, you don't really have anyone to play there. Uh, Frank Simak. I suppose we'll have to do. Although although I could have actually brought Mikel Nelson on, but it's too late now because I'm an idiot. Sorry, I, I say on. I could have moved moved Nelson to that position. Oh god, Cullen could have a chance. Oh dear. Oh Schumacher's trip Paul Thurwell. We got away with that one. Yeah, I could have moved Nelson to wing back and brought Danny Livesey on, but still. Oh Noble with a great jink. Uh good effort, Noble. In a bit of a tough spot, surrounded by defenders. Fair play to him for having a shot from there. Carson, well out by Nelson. He's a very good defender, is Nelson. So glad I signed him. Miller, Thurwell, Simek. Great run from Frank Simek. Can I get it in? Uh, poor clip, poor cross. But Thurwell's got it now. Gets it to Simek. Plays it out to Barrett. Thurwell. He's going to give it back to Barrett sometime. Yes, he has. Noble. Great ball to Chandler, and it's 2-0. Fantastic through ball, again from Liam Noble, I think it was. Let's see. Yeah, another great through ball from Liam Noble. His passing in this game is unbelievable. And he just takes it round Trevor Carson and taps into an empty net. Fantastic from, from Noble and Chandler there. And again, I just really love how patient we are being, you know. We're just working the ball around the box and, uh, until someone makes a run past the defenders and then we, and then we have a great chance to score. And yeah, we, we have done very well so far against a potential banana skin, really, because Bar Barry are a decent side. Jones with the throwing throws down the line. Oh, and Collins just knocked the ball out of play. What a highlight that was! Wow, I'm so glad I saw that. <laughs> um, I honestly don't want to make substitutions right now because you know that it's just a solid all-round team performance from the players that are currently on the field. Simak throws it to Barrett. Oh, it's a poor throw. Or oh, maybe just poor, poor control from Barrett. 
Schumacher, Carrington, Henderson. Oh, Scars is free. Well out by Nelson. Worrell's going to tidy that one up. Oh, poor header. Oh, we, we keep on getting close to get the ball, but we can't get control of it. Oh, Elford Alley. Ooh, Elford Alley has made it 2 1. What happened there? Wow, poor defending from. <laughs> I think the centre backs just got mixed up with each other there. A uh, bit of a dodgy one there. But it's definitely. Oh, God. Oh, no, you're joking. No way. Oh my god, they've equalised. What? How? Oh, you have to be kidding me. I just can't understand that. We were doing so well. We were all over them. And Barry just get two. I'm. Um, um, I'm sorry. I should say Barry just get two breaks, and the, and they've done it. And it's over. You're damn right. We should feel that we've won the game. That, 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 how, how can you throw away a lead like that? And you just let. Uh, and you've just allowed Swindon to, to to go to go level with you. Oh wow. That that turned that turned from a brilliant performance to, into an extremely average one in in a matter of minutes. That's just unbelievable. I mean, especially from especially from from kick off after the first goal, we just give the ball away, and all of a sudden, they just go forward and score. It was it was a goal. It was two goals in basically two minutes, really. Oh well, we are unbeaten in six games, I suppose, and we are still top. So at least we didn't lose. I suppose that that that's, that might be a good way to look at this. Oh well. <laughs> That's that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, we will be playing Bournemouth, and we'll be playing Crawley. So two, two very good teams. Again, as usual, uh, we do we do seem to be having tough game after tough game, but we'll see what happens. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe favorites anything you like you know share with your friends if you if you if you I, I would really appreciate that so yeah that's that's pretty much it uh thanks a lot for thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you have a nice day thanks for watching stay tuned for our episodes cheers bye